a oh, Steam, Steam concurrent user is um not many people use that. Like not many people use Steam. There's a, a standalone client that you just download from the website. And I'd say it's like probably like three quarters of the play base play on the standalone client. Oh good, it's more Wanderer. use the Steam client or there would be zero concurrent players. Oh yeah, there's the browser as well. I, <laughs> Yeah, you can play this in a browser. I actually forgot about that, but if you're playing on a uh, like a Chromebook or something, you can play in the browser. It's kind of laggy, but it does work. If I had to like wildly guess, I'd say it's probably 70% standalone, 20% Steam, 10% browser. And it was going so well. I guess I should have played the Wisp. Kind of funny, he skipped turn 1 and 2, and it's like he still just wins. pretty clean actually maybe he doesn't win he's only on four mana to be honest I might take out cell souls and Crystal Wisps. For like, Gravity Well and Welter. 
Like, I get that has anti-synergy, but I'm not always going to have... I'm not always going to be dispelling my- Jesus, Wanderer runs quickly. What the hell? Do Chromebooks run on Android? Yeah, it's like a... It's a special version. It's like a desktop version of Android, basically. It's like a, a step up from the uh, the tablet, the tablet Android OS. Chromebook is, but I don't need to find it because I don't have a camera. Yeah, my Chromebook is like, has a touch screen, so you can use pretty much any Android app on it. But then you also have the, the trackpad and the full keyboard, and it's nice. As long as you don't try to do too many things with it at once, because it doesn't have too much RAM, but I pretty much just use it for Chrome and Discord. And also an app that lets me turn my light bulbs on and off. instead of a laptop. Um, the battery life is like nine hours. It was a lot cheaper than a equivalent laptop and uh, just being able to use Android apps is pretty cool and useful to be honest. Hey, we beat Flash Wanderer. 